Hi, I'm Jim Adkins from professional rock band Jimmy Eat World. I'm here at Amoeba Records for What's in My Bag. Let's see here. I listen to this album more than I listen to just about any other record. I listen to this today, as a matter of fact. What do you know? It again. It's also one of the loudest records that I've that I've heard. It's like it's funny because like it's mostly two people and two voices, but they mastered it like super loud. It's just incredible musicianship. Now, with digital recording, especially like you're unlimited by what you can do. Like if you can imagine it, you can, you can get pretty close to hearing what it sounds like and you're unlimited with ways to try to do that. So it really uh, requires a, a sense of strong musicianship to play rest notes. The things I listen to all like a lot are, are mainly more mellow stuff like Lonely Deer. He's my trouble. This is a great album. The songwriting is solid, but the choices in instrumentation and the choices of just how he develops things, it's not exactly what my first inst instinct would do. I listen to music now and I, like, there's a part of me thinking like, what would I do if I was in this band? And the, the choices that he makes, especially on this record, are like, oh wow, that's, I would have never thought of that. Like, that's really cool. So I like it you know, on an academic level and then I've, I've listened to this so much that it's, it's, it's um, the songs are special to me now. Okay, so this isn't the newest Aldous Harding, but I like this record a lot. You were right, love takes time, hey, hey. Imagining My Man is the first tune I've, I heard from her. That whole song is very mellow, but just the interjections she does, the choices she makes and the intensity in, in uh, fluctuations that she controls with her voice, I don't know, I, I just really like it. The way she plays around with the dynamics, just singing and everything else being really mellow is, is like more impactful than like a wall of loud guitars could be. Okay, gonna break with my theme so far and show you the new municipal waste. The Last Rager, an EP. Press on yellow with blue splatter. Oh man, just look at the cover. Whatever you think this is gonna sound like, it, it, it sounds like that. There's just something about what they do that's just so right. <laughs> this is the combination of like good old school thrash and um, what I used to listen to skating all the time. Like it, people, people kind of take it too far into like a more like uh, serious technical metal way or they're just really, really angry or they just take it into a evil kind of way. You know, like they're trying to out shred and out evil everybody, but municipal waste is just like, they party. There's a part of me that always is gonna identify as the 14 year old metal guitar player kid, you know? And then there's the, the bigger part of me that's 43 and likes low. Oh, it's amazing that this far into their career, they're pushing it. Low is kind of low, like they do, they do their thing and they're subversive within that thing, but it kind of stays within the lines. This is just like, we're gonna do this. And I love that. I mean, this is just kind of me, but I think when you're younger and you're writing, you're, you're, you're making music, at first, what you do sounds a lot like your record collection. You're just playing the things that you like and you're kind of copying that. Then as you get maybe more proficient and maybe you start performing with other, like playing with other people and writing your own music, like you start developing this, this voice, this, this thing that you can identify as, as you. And I think like as soon as you feel that emerging, you gotta start questioning it. Because you know, as time goes on, like the worst thing that, that can happen is you just, re you know, you repeat yourself. So unless you're stepping outside of that somewhat, you're not growing. And I think Lowe's doing that 
significantly on double negative. I just love the, the, the kind of like punk rock sort of subversiveness of, of like some of the production choices they're making here. Like side chaining the compression so that the entire like mix just sort of goes away for a second around like a loud like bass hit. And like there's, there's singing, there's lyrics over that, but like, nope, they're sort of like vroom, vroom. It's not a safe choice. Lowe is not making safe choices on this, but the character of it, what it, what it, what it brings in the final product is just, um, it, it commands you to deal with it. Like there's nobody sitting on the fence about, about this low record. Like it, you're either gonna be about it or you're gonna just not, this is not for you. I love that. And that's what's in my bag. It was really great to have you in. Oh, great. And the rest are quiet.